question about it. It's going to be a, a good welcome for our new Democratic senator from Pennsylvania. We're excited. What? Well, as you, I think as you all know, over the course of the past few weeks, we've uh, engaged in a number of, of calls. I mean, obviously the Senate is still in, in session, so therefore the Senator's time is somewhat limited, but, but the Senator's participated on every call, and the Governor's participated on virtually every call. And, and the response, I think, has been, been great. I mean, it's been very cordial, but make no mistake about it. The people in the calls, elected officials, party leaders, um, have all asked very, very pointed and poignant questions. So they, it hasn't been a, a, a love-in. It's been a, in a good, thoughtful, um, cordial uh, welcome to the party. So, looking forward to it. How many county committees has he met with or attended some kind of conference? Well, John, every, uh, I mean, on the calls, as far as, I didn't check the attendance, but every county was asked to participate. Uh, for, we started with the caucus chairs, and we went to the county chairs and other um, elected officials, a lot of county uh, commissioners and council people, things like that. So it's uh, it's been a good use of, of time. And then certainly uh, the senator has begun his travel as of last week. I'll be joining him this coming week and the following week. Um, and then once the August recess uh, is here, he will do what he's done for the last 30 years, and that's engage people in, in every corner of Pennsylvania. Ask, you know, what happened in Bucks County when the uh, the meeting uh, that Senator Specter attended to was closed? Was closed to De uh, rank and file Democrats. I, I, I have to I have to apologize, John. I'm not familiar with okay. who was invited and in, in the you know I, my you know personal involvement has been in helping to organize the calls. Um, others have been in charge of uh, the actual meets and greets that have taken place and will continue to take place. So I. I can't speak specifically okay. to what happened in Bucks. What do you expect him to say tomorrow? Well, I think he's going to talk about his long and proud history um, of, of fighting for, for causes that, that we all, as Democrats, uh, believe in. And so I, I think it's going to be a, a good speech, and, and the Senator will lay out all of his years, you know, three decades of accomplishments on behalf of Pennsylvania, and uh, we'll talk about what the future might have in store as well. Have you heard anybody say anything? Governor Rendell last week went on MSNBC and said just has to get killed um, if he ran against Specter. Well, that raised a lot of eyebrows. People I talked to, have you heard anything about that? I, you know, other than other than what I've read on some of your good works, um, you know, and, and your good publications. Um, but, you know, it, it shouldn't come as any great surprise that Ed, Ed Rendell was asked a straightforward question and gave the only answer he's genetically capable of giving, which is an honest answer. Um, you know, so... so I, Listen, I, it's, it's, I understand, you know, some resistance is to be expected and respected. And, and we all do understand um, that there's, there's time to grow. But just as people with, you know, questions or concerns should be given an opportunity to express those, I think the senator should so too be given an opportunity um, to meet with folks face to face in places that they come from and talk about what he's all about. And I think once he's able to engage in that in earnest, once this August recess comes around, um, we'll all be well served. 